Every time the money system expands, it means it reduces the purchasing power of everything you own. Now, how people traditionally save is we buy a house. Now, we don't realize we're saving, but we're able to save in the equity creation of the house because a property is harder to create than a euro. A euro can be printed. They don't even have to be printed. You just click a button and you create them. But a property takes time and it takes bricks and it takes energy basically to create a property. So by us becoming a homeowner, we get to benefit by owning that home. And yes, we have to pay off the mortgage pretty much until we're retired, most people do but we get to benefit by the equity creation of us owning the property. But we get to benefit from the asset appreciation of owning the property. So basically we get to save by owning a house. So you'll know that the signaling that's been given to us now is you will own nothing and be happy. And that's because it will be physically impossible for people in their 20s and people behind them and even 30s to get on the property ladder. It's almost impossible for them. And that's only going to get more difficult. And that's because the home purchase to wages ratio. And I'm going to bring the positive to teach you that. Bitcoin is hope and I'm going to teach you how this fixes all your problems. It fixed mine. I know it fixed Lawrence's there. I know it's fixing Teresa's because these are all people I've met and know. And anyone else who is using Bitcoin, let us know. Is it fixing your problems or what you understand to give people hope?